Hello and welcome. This is Deepak Mishra once again. I welcome you all to 10 minutes. In this video, most of, most of the time I make videos for doctors who want to specialize, work, learn, train in Germany. Uh, and other branches I have so far not touched uh, too much. I mean, I have not uh, talked about. But today I'm going to talk about uh, importance of German language this is this comes from not from doctors uh, because they already know it's a requirement but it comes from other people who uh, attend our uh, seminars in Borivali in Mumbai uh, that why should uh, a student uh, who is not a doctor who is uh, say uh, in college doing BSc or BCom or uh, say 12th standard or 10th standard why should somebody incline towards German language or in that for that matter French language. So today in this video we are going to talk about German language, why it is important, what are the pros prospects, job prospects, career opportunities with German language. So first of all I have written some points so that uh, so I'll uh, like uh, once in a while I look in the list so that I don't miss any important point. See first of all we have to understand that German language is very widely spoken in Europe. So uh, it opens a gate, it opens an uh, opportunity for you to enter Europe. Uh, Germany, um, Switzerland, the parts of Switzerland, uh, the western part of Switzerland and Austria. These three countries, they speak German, have German as official language. And in uh, Germany and Austria, you cannot expect a career growth or say a good job or internship without knowing good German. So Germany to be uh, most important. So uh, these countries career career uh, prospects. Germany, as you know, it is a very uh, engineering, automobile, and technical sector is very advanced in Germany, very innovative, and lots of international students and professionals wish to come to Germany and work here. What is the requirement? Language. You can book. English courses, you can come for two years, you can, but after that, if you want to work here to continue, settle, live in Germany or s mingle with the society, uh, culture, then you will need the language. Also for visa, you'll need the language. You can, without language, you do not get any visa. Uh, for A1, maybe you'll get tourist visa without any language, but other, other than that, you need a language certificate. That is why uh, people who are, who wish to work in Germany and uh, live further in Germany have to get the language in grip. See, uh, second, uh, yeah, so along with industry, um, Germany is the best, I mean, uh, in Europe, Germany is a leading country, is the leader, industrial leader in, in Europe, you must say. So, uh, and with growing uh, economy, so industry is booming, factories are opening, uh, they have multinational companies going to other parts of the world in India, for example, so uh, you must have heard these names, big names, uh, BMW, this is BMW, Volkswagen, uh, Audi, Mercedes, all these are German companies. I've talk to, talked about automobile com companies, but there are other companies like Siemens is there or uh, Lufthansa is there. So there are many companies uh, and they're expanding their international companies. So you have opportunity also in other countries. For example, if you are in India and you work in a German company, uh, and you know the language, it's a very important thing there. They will, you will grow further, faster and further uh, because see, the employer thinks that, okay, this person has interest in the culture, in the system, in the, so maybe they will move you to Germany. So that is also one, I mean, you grow faster and further in, uh, in multinational companies. Also, other opportunities for if you leave your, um, you don't want a career, you want don't want a career in Germany. You want to stay back in India in your home city. Uh, you want to do, you are doing something different, and you don't want uh, to mingle. Uh, you don't need German on day to day basis in your uh, at your work, for example. Then is German still useful to you? Definitely. Why not? Why, how? I'll tell you. You can work as freelancer. Once you have German language up to some level, uh, not some level, a good level, you can work as a freelance translator, interpreter. Uh, you can write a, like a copywriter. You can write uh, things in German for people who want, uh, for German companies who want things to be done in India. You can work as freelance uh, German writer. So those things, those jobs are available. If you Google uh, German jobs and all, there are many jobs available and people earn quite a bit with this. So this is, this, I mean, 
uh, you may say that okay this is not my profession but it is not your profession it's your part time it's your freelance so you you earn some money in your free time what is the problem so with this uh, you build an extra edge in your cv in your in your uh, uh, entire uh, what you say entire personality also uh, because you have you know extra for, uh, foreign language it gives you in the world of competition that we have at present uh, an edge is very important otherwise you are two steps behind instead of being one step ahead because others are doing that others are learning the language or other, others are improving the profiles so if you don't you don't do that you lag behind that is why it's very important to stay if not ahead then at least at par with the competition uh, in india as i have told you uh, professional translators the job interpreter content writer uh, you can work with mncs if you are a technical professional or other other as well they mncs also have other professional not only technical uh, if you want to study in germany as i have already mentioned german is very important uh, you have to work here that is also important otherwise you won't get any interviews you won't won't get any uh, internship pro or projects or anything at end what i will say is it is not i mean it is always an option that after learning german to a certain extent you can teach you can teach it full time or part time as you may choose so uh, you add that one profile that you become teacher so you can teach in an institute you can teach in online you can do several things so this actually adds a different aspect to your uh, personality that uh, you know an extra foreign language and which is not very uh, some vague language somewhere not used it's very global language uh, german language is uh, second most popular language to be learned in india and uh, first is french the reasons which have uh, the reason is french is easier and uh, yeah there are more options and french started teaching language much before like than germans in india so these are the reasons so uh, this was a small video about for people who are not sure or don't know why german what are the benefits what are the prospects uh, why should one learn german so this question i get very often from uh, parents and students who wish to come to our uh, language institute in borivli uh, via video conferencing so uh, and also yeah to i mean i'll remind you that we have deminets international has uh, in beginning of this year planned to start a language institute in mumbai which would provide international language training to local candidates to local students and then that, that we have already done we have started with the first batch and uh, our aim is focus on the quality to provide an uh, international standard language training in mumbai also along with that uh, see i have always maintained that goithe is the standard language education center around the world for german language and they have maintained their standards everything is fine but it is not always the most convenient path for a student it, sometimes institute is very far sometimes the appointments are not there for months together sometimes uh, it's very costly sometimes sometimes it uh, takes a lot of time sometimes it does not match to the working uh, timings of the students in that case you need an alternative that will be equally good if not better we are trying to make it better but if not then it will be equally good it will be equally standardized and it will be an option that okay you want to go to uh, goethe you have chosen that okay i want to go to international center fine you go there and if you are not able to do that we are there yeah and if you are going to some local institute somewhere some home tuition we are definitely better than that we will be definitely better than that uh, that is for sure so this provides and in the same in the same tone i would say uh, we are working on identifying other standard institutes other major cities in india so in mumbai we are there deminets international deminets language academy in borivli east for uh, exact address you can check on the uh, description section i'll post the link over there uh, so you can check the exact address phone numbers and everything and call them up if you want to take an appointment and visit uh, that in other major cities also we are uh, searching for institutes which have maintained standard uh, standards in the past so that uh we could recommend them and we could uh, the candidate we could guide the candidates because i see a lot of people asking for uh, which institute is better for example in delhi or in kolkata or in chennai and uh, when we have all in one place that okay fine if you want if you want to visit an institute in say, uh, chennai you go to institute a if you want to visit something some institute in say uh, kolkata you have institute b like that we are going to uh, make a platform 
but that will take some time it will come up with new videos and new information for now you know about Borivili Mumbai uh, we have Deminitz Language Academy and for more uh, information you can check, call the phone number or email us at Deminitz uh, International and we will revert back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Have a nice time. Good day. Bye-bye.